Good morning students today we are going to discuss the mayor of Castle Bridge by Thomas Hardy published in 1886 It is a tragic novel and in fact most of the novels by Thomas Hardy are tragic someone dies or someone leaves at the end of Hardy's novels the same goes for the mayor of Castle Bridge One of the most quoted lines from this novel is happiness is but an occasional episode in the general drama of pain All right so let's quickly get on to our story The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy One day when Henchard was traveling with a wife named Susan and their infant daughter named Elizabeth Jane who is just 2 3 years old when he was traveling to a town of Wessex in search of a job he comes across a village fair Henchard gets heavily drunk at the fair and complains about his unhappy married life Then he indulges himself in gambling and auctions his wife and daughter. He loses the bet and has to give his wife and daughter to a sailor named Richard Newson for 5 guineas. Before leaving, Susan throws her wedding ring in his face and the villagers also were shocked that he really sold his family and left. When he wakes up the next day, he immediately regrets his action and tries to look for them but realizes that it is too late. He visits a church and vows that he will not touch alcohol again for the next 21 years. He vows for 21 years because at that time his age was 21 years. So that's how he gets on to the number 21. So now we will fast forward the story and progress it to 18 years later. So after 18 years, Suzanne is no longer Hanchard's wife. She is now Mrs. Newson. Her husband Mr Newson is a sailor who is lost at sea. So now Susan and her grown-up daughter Elizabeth Jane face financial difficulties as her sailor husband has also died. Susan thinks of searching Henchard again. She doesn't tell her daughter Elizabeth Jane about her real father Henchard. She tells that Henchard is merely a long-lost relative. As she searches for Henchard she discovers that Henchard has become a successful hay and grain merchant and is also a reputed the mayor of Castle Bridge. Susan meets Henchard once again and to save the life of Elizabeth Jane they both decide to remarry. So now the family is complete once again. As the novel moves forward we find that Henchard's reputation gets damaged due to his purchase of large load of bad wheat his agriculture business has started going down a young man donald farfrey helps henchard by offering some suggestions on how to make the grain reusable donald farfrey makes his losing business get into profit once again henchard gets impressed by him and offers him a job as the manager of his business In no time Farfrey becomes so popular in the whole town that Henchard starts getting jealous of him. He fires him and they become bitter rivals. On the other hand, Susan falls ill and dies. She writes a letter to Henchard and tells that Elizabeth Jane is not his real daughter. Their real daughter died after a few months when Henchard sold them 18 years back. Elizabeth Jane is the daughter of Susan and Richard Newson. Henchard gets shocked after listening to this. He starts behaving coldly towards Elizabeth Jane. His business of agriculture is also going down and on the other hand his rival Farfrey becomes so popular so rich that he gets elected as the mayor of Casterbridge. Moving forward a new character in the novel comes that is Lucita Templeman. Lucita was in a romantic relationship with Henchard in the past. You can say sort of his ex-girlfriend. So now what happens is that she gets captivated by Donald Farfrey. And on listening to this, Henchard gets mad at Donald Farfrey. Also, Henchard gets another loss in his agriculture business due to his bad predictions. He is in great debt now. Lucita eventually marries Farfrey. and Henchard plots to ruin their married life by disclosing about his previous love affair with Lucita. So now the scandalous news of her past relationship with him spreads in town. It affects her married life and the town people accused her and she has to go through a punishment. 
the punishment is the skimity ride so now what happens here is that people make her sit on a donkey and then make the donkey ride through all the streets of the town Lucita gets mentally disturbed after the skimity ride. She is fatally ill and after a few days she dies. On the other hand, Henchard is bankrupt and left with no choice but to work as a farm laborer for far free. Henchard also becomes a social outcast when everyone learns he had sold Suzanne, his wife and his daughter Elizabeth Jane at an auction 18 years back. Elizabeth Jane is his only support now but what happens is that after a while Richard Newson the sailor husband comes into the novel he was missing somewhere in the ocean all these years but he is not dead yet so he returns and takes her daughter Elizabeth Jane back towards the end after the death of Lucita Farfrae proposes to Elizabeth Jane and they get married Henchard is broken and lonely he again starts consuming alcohol and dies alone in a poor cottage and with this we come to the end of this video i hope you found the video worth your time if you're new to this channel then don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more such updates that's it for this video thank you